Model Railroad University is extremely proud to be back at uh, KD Quality Products. I actually worked here for some time, about 20 years ago, and I'm sitting here with Sam and Alan, I should say Alan and Sam, and uh, they're really the ones that you want to talk to, them, the ones that you see at the shows when you go out uh, and talk to Katie. And they kind of determine, I think, more or less what's made, what's coming, what might happen. <laughs> that seems to be correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what goes on here. At um, any rate, Model Railroad University is extremely proud that we're going to be covering some things that Katie does as far as new product releases, and we're going to be putting out some videos on how to install KD couplers on your equipment from every scale, uh, G scale all the way down to um, HO, I believe. Yep. That's right. And we'll talk about some of the new product announcements. But anyway, extremely proud to be here. Sam, you do the new product development. That's the job I had when I was here. So. Yeah. It, it's uh, quite interesting and fun, and that's not my only job either. But uh, uh, when we do start with a new product, we have several meetings and, and come up with new ideas and what's what we can do and what the market needs or what's the demand out there. Uh, so we have to do a lot of research before we can come up with an idea for a new product. Well, I know we used to have a huge safe that I would go to and it had all kinds of reference material in it. Even had one guy that wrote in one time and said, well, the B&O never had those round top silver cars that you put out. And I was really proud that I had not only the photograph from the B&O Historical Society, but some other references that we had used to make that car. And I sent back to him and said, well, yes, sir, I'm sorry, you probably joined the B&O Historical Society after this <laughs> episode, but here's the, the uh, article. And it, we do try to follow extremely closely to what the prototype does. Yeah, and, and we still do. Anytime we produce a car, we make sure it's prototype. And, and we don't do a paint scheme uh, that's not prototypical unless it's one of our specialty cars. Mm -hmm. And, and it, specialty cars are not considered non-prototypical, it's just a specialty car. Just has the lettering uh, for a group or it, whatever. It doesn't have the incorrect railroad yes. paint scheme on it. <laughs> that's and, right. and we're pretty pretty strict about that and we do a tremendous amount of research to make sure that, that what we do is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a, it's a constant thing, uh, finding good photographs, good information, good drawings, mm -hmm. and, and good contacts that are reliable. Yes. Uh, and uh, it's an ongoing thing. So right. We as, well as, as well as getting the paint samples oh, and yeah. the, the plastic samples to match. Mm -hmm. I was extremely happy to learn that your son is in line to continue the Katy tradition, which means that all of us out there who wonder about sometimes small manufacturers and what's going to happen in the future, we can be fairly well assured that Katy is going to continue along the same lines. These products will be available for many decades to come. And I think that's a real positive note uh, on Katy's part to say, hey, we're not going away. We're going to be here and we're going to keep supplying the great couplers and the great cars that you have. That's true. We've. Uh Real interesting fact is Daniel, uh, he's an apprentice machinist with us. And what's even more interesting is the fact that Dale uh, was the one who wrote the apprenticeship program for the tool and die makers for the state of Oregon. Oh, cool. So the unfortunate thing is he's not here to see him finish the apprenticeship, but he's actually in his ninth segment uh, of the apprenticeship program now. Well, well and I should say Dale Edwards that you're referring to was actually one of the two twin brothers that started KD. And you're right, he was absolutely amazing at making and venting and making molds work. That's why the very small parts that we've put out for many decades work so well. Exactly. He, he and his uh, twin brother Keith, and that's in case you guys didn't know how that came up, Katie is Keith and Dale Edwards Edwards. Yes. So that's how the name came to be. Um, and it's, it started way back in 1946. Uh, the year I was born, I might say. <laughs> they were in the Air Corps, and uh, Keith got washed out uh, in flying because of something to do with his eyes. And uh, from that point, they were pretty much inseparable. So Dale said, Well, I guess we got to do something different. So they decided to go to school and do the machining thing and work for Grumman and a bunch of others making things. And then when they saw everything going out the door that was tooling they made, they thought, Well, that's not right because we got to make more tooling. You know, why don't we make something that we can make for ourselves and utilize and sell the products that we make? So 
That's how KD Metal products came to be. Well, the, the KD Metal that changed into KD Quality, and it certainly has been, as long as I know it, a quality product. Uh, the model railroad uni universe <laughs> has really benefited from the benefited from the fact that those brothers started the KD company and, and actually kept it going all these years. And that's you know that's the reason why we have KD as part of our or pardon me quality as part of our name for KD quality products because we actually do everything in house a hundred percent from the mold making to the die casting to the plastic mold injection to hand springing to making the springs to the packaging to the offset printing to the marketing, you name it, everything that goes into our products go out the door, are quality checked along the way, and uh, that's what's kept us in business for over up to 70 years now, and continuing th throughout. Well, it's a real tribute on the Facebook. A lot of guys are very proud of the fact of, like I am, that we serve for the United States military. They're proud of the United States and what we do, and you guys have kept jobs here, and you continue to do so. Even though you might be able to make them cheaper overseas, you still keep people working here, everything that goes out this door is connected and totally attached to the United States and the United States marketing and you deserve a real treat for the, a real pat on the back for doing that. Thank you. And I want to make one announcement here at the end that Model Road University is going to work with you and maybe once in a while you let me out a little secret of what's coming, I can announce that. I'm sure we'll be but, able to uh, work on that. Great meeting <laughs> and I, pr I appreciate you having us over and, and we're going to look forward to a long relationship and hope that Another 70 years for you, I may not be around that long, but <laughs> another 70 years for Katie would be great. You, know, you yeah. guys travel all the time Absolutely. to shows we'll see at the Amber Show yeah. and several others around the country. So any train of our viewers trails. that want to come and, and visit with you, you, you know, come by and say hi. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you much. Yeah. Sam, good luck to you. Thank you.